Pneumatic conveying systems consist of uh, a, a good amount of pieces of equipment to be able to, to, to move the resin from point A to point B. In this case, I, I have on the screen here uh, just, a, just an overview of the vacuum side of a, of a conveying system because on the material side, there's more variables which we'll get into later with some examples. Uh, but in this case, we have our vacuum pump that's going to be generating the, the, the vacuum or really moving the air. We're pulling a vacuum or sucking air down a conduit and then we're allowing the pellets to pick up at the pickup point and get sucked into that airstream to pick it up from point A to point B. Next from the vacuum pump we have our dust collector and that dust collector's purpose is to clean the air and separate the dust from the air uh, before it passes through your vacuum pump. Vacuum pumps are typically extremely tight tolerances. We're spinning them at fairly high RPMs along very tight tolerances to be able to generate that vacuum and move that air throughout the pump frame. And uh, the dust collector is simply there just to clean that air and collect all the dust that's generated in a dilute phase conveying system. The next piece of equipment would be a, a cyclone separator. Uh, it's not necessarily necessary, but we use these cyclone separators just to get most of the, of the, of the larger debris or the larger pieces of dust um, out of the airstream before passing it then through the dust collector. This will prolong the maintenance event where you have to go and you have to change out that dust collector bin and dump it out. Uh, but overall, uh, this is uh, not necessary, but it's used in most applications if you are generating a good amount of dust with your dilute phase conveying high speed conveying systems that may be in your facility. And then the receiver. So uh, the, the receiver in a system is, is designed to separate the resin uh, from the airstream. So we're, we're, we're pulling vacuum, we're moving air from point A to point B, and really if we think of, of, of point C being the pump, the air pulls into point A at the pickup point, travels to point B, which will be the receiver, that receiver is separating the resin from the airstream and then that air still has to pass all the way to the pump to keep the system continuous.